Ask him about that. I like this. Ask him about that. Running in Russia. Oh, competing in Russia? No, running at the, at the oh, end. Oh, okay. She asked me to tell everybody. That when, I, when I went in, in 65 for the U.S.-Russia meet, I came in early, and uh, the team didn't come in for several hours yet, and so I didn't have a team visa, so I just have to sit there and wait for them. So I put on my running stuff, and I went out to a side door, and I decided I was just going to run around the airport. In Russia, you don't run. Of course, I've been arrested 17 times for running back then because nobody ran back then. It just wasn't something you did on the streets. And and I come out of this airport and I start around the, the turn, you know, around the airport. And I'm running on this little road on the side of the runway. And and I see this. They're doing military exercises right there at the airport. This full of uh, soldiers with with bayonets attached to guns come jumping out of the back of the truck and they head in my direction. So I wanted to get out of their way, so I just took off. And and I got all the way up around to the, the end of the airport and I'm coming around and there's another truck with, with the guys with the bayonets and, and they're getting out on this end. So I zoom, scoot around, I had to sprint to keep, you know, from getting in their way. And I'm coming down the other way and way up ahead of me there's another truck with the, with the same thing with a bunch of people with the bayoneted guns coming and they get out and they start coming my way. So I says, uh oh, I'm gonna be in the way, aren't I? And I I wonder, you, thought, you thought they were for somebody else. No, I didn't know what they were doing, training. Huh? <laughs> and so finally they get up to me and, and I'm surrounded by these guys. And they, they arrest me, they take me to a Russian prison. And, and locked me in a room. At what age? Uh, 18. 18. And I'm locked in this room. And I don't know what to do. I'm scared to death. People disappear in Russia. You, know? you end up in a gulags and, and, and you're never seen again. So I didn't know what to do. The next morning, I wake up early. Uh, actually, there's this blaring music and, and then these commands in Russian, which I didn't understand. And, and they, must have, they had everybody doing calisthenics, I think, because they were going, I need the bar, three to carry, I need the bar, three to carry. And I just sit there and I'm so stunned. And then all of a sudden, the, all of the doors open up and, and, and I see these people going, and, uh, all marching down the hall all together. So I just stayed in my room and because and, I couldn't understand them. I said, they can't be talking about me. And then when the door starts to slowly close again, and I put my shoe in the door and it stops it from closing. And everybody marches down and then all of a sudden it's quiet. And I push the door open, I look down the hall, there's nobody. And I, I go down to the end of the hall and I look through this little bitty porthole in the, in the door and there's a guard standing on the other side. So I come back and I, and I went back into the room and there's a, a drain pipe going down outside my window. And, and way in the distance I see the airplane coming down. I say, that's where the airport is. So I shimmy down the, the drain pipe and ran just as hard as I could towards that airport. And, and got back to the terminal, opened the door, and there's the American team that just come in and there's all these USA guys. I was never so happy to see a USA guy.